Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 31-year-old male who's athletic. He has pain in his groin, and we see here on this coronal image, this is a coronal image where we can see the left hip joint and the right hip joint at the same time. We see the bladder in the middle, and we also, if we go forward, we can see the pubic ring come together. This is the pubic bone in the right side coming across, ending here. This is the left pubic bone coming across, ending here. You can see the same thing left pubic bone, right pubic bone, and where they come together is the symphysis pubis. So here's the symphysis pubis here, and at the symphysis pubis, we can see that there's a white line in the middle. This is called the central cleft. You can see the central cleft here. This is a normal physiologic cleft, and um, not a big deal, but we see that there's an abnormal finding here on the right. There's a bright signal within the marrow. Marrow should be really dark on this sequence. This is a fat suppressed sequence, so Anything that has fatty marrow should be dark, like this femoral head, ilium here. But instead of being dark, this is really light bulb bright. So lots of inflammation, edema, irritation of this bone. We know there must be mechanical uh, shearing forces at the symphysis pubis, causing the bone to react and become bright with edema in the marrow. Same thing on the left-hand side. So this patient is, uh, has what we call athletic pubalgia, or pain in the pubic region um, related to mechanical shearing forces from some athletic thing like soccer. There's lots of pressure on the symphysis pubis. In addition to the marrow edema, the patient also has what we call a secondary cleft. That central cleft here is within normal limits. You can see a central cleft and it's not, it doesn't have to be pathologic, but a cleft that is down along the bottom here uh, is abnormal. This is what we call a secondary cleft. You can have one on the left or the right. This patient has a secondary cleft on the right-hand side. If I zoom that up, you can see this white line. And there's a dark band here. This is part of an aponeurosis. An aponeurosis is a uh, ligamentous structure where uh, the adductor longus tendon comes up and it forms this broad fibrous sheath and it continues up higher with the erectus abdominis muscle. If we put up a sagittal view, we can see this in profile. I can see how that anatomy comes together. So this is the rectus abdominis muscle. The patient has a huge muscle, and it comes down here and becomes a tendon, and the tendon wraps across the front, really an aponeurosis. The tendon becomes an aponeurosis. It's continuous with the one that continues down the adductor longus. So the adductor longus comes up, rectus abdominis comes down, and that fibrous sheath along the front is the aponeurosis. We call it the common rectus abdominis adductor longus aponeurosis, and you can see it is this black glob here, and we can see that this white line is where that aponeurosis is peeled off, partially torn and stripped from the periosteal attachment of the pubic bone. So again, this is what we call a sports hernia or athletic pubalgia. Sometimes the adductor longus is completely torn off. Sometimes there's just a really subtle secondary cleft. Sometimes there's a cleft, but no marrow edema or marrow edema with no cleft. Sometimes the rectus abdominis component can be torn, and the adductor longus can be intact. But anytime you see marrow edema, bony changes down here, or this aponeurosis or aponeurosis having a tearing or peeling off, we call this athletic pubalgia or a sports hernia. And they call it a hernia. This is more of a misnomer. When patients had uh, groin pain, they thought, oh, the patient must have a hernia, a bowel-containing hernia. But then they realize they don't have a hernia. They have these bony changes. They realize uh, uh, that it's, again, called a sports hernia, not a true bowel-containing hernia. So a misnomer there, but this is a case of athletic pubalgia, pretty common um, finding. Patients have shearing forces, mechanical shearing forces at the symphysis pubis here. And again, they uh, get reactive marrow signal changes and uh, injury of this aponeurosis. Thank you very much.